there, my name is Alanda and today I'm so excited to be doing a makeup haul with you guys. I love shopping for new makeup, I love sharing new makeup here on my channel. I also love sharing content where we, you know, take a look at some of the products already in our collections. But today, 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 I'm so excited because I've got a bunch of new makeup products. Now, this video, there's kind of three parts to this haul. So. First up, we have kind of the Sephora haul segment, which I'm super excited about. Then we have uh, my last two Ipsies, which I'm really, really excited about. I really like what I got in them. I'm not, I don't often share my Ipsy on YouTube. I generally share that more on Instagram, but I'm really pumped about my last two Ipsy bags. So I wanted to unbox them here with you guys. And then the final part is a little bit of thrifting content. I found the most amazing Kate Spade product. I'm not gonna give away what it is, but at the end, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got at my local Goodwill boutique, and I just had so much fun. So anyways, I've got kind of a bit of a varied haul here, but we've got some luxury fashion, we've got some like makeup, we got some mystery bags, and yeah, and so anyways, we are going to unbox them. So if you wanna see it, let's keep going. If you don't, I mean, you could click away or you could just keep watching anyways. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with the Sephora haul because I just told you that that's what we're going to do. So I've got my little Sephora bag here and okay, so oh, and there's also some drugstore items. This is kind of just like a wild, fun, crazy little, little bit of everything. And I also have my Charlotte Tilbury sale to include. Okay, this is this is just a wild haul. Okay, so before we get into it, I want to say one more thing. Um, I'm not really the kind of person who goes out and takes like one big shopping trip and then gets like 10 items and does that kind of haul. I'm more the kind of person who makes a whole bunch of little orders and then a month or two later, I'm just like, oof. Should I just bought it all at once? So first product is from Cheekbone Beauty. It is a Canadian beauty brand, um, very sustainable. And this is one of their lipsticks in the shade Nuna, which is a really, really pretty, pretty neutral. Um, Cheekbone is owned by uh, Canadian Indigenous women, which is awesome, and they're in Sephora. And I mean, I love seeing Canadian brands succeed. And yeah, it was super excited. Um, I do have one of their other lipsticks. It's in a very bright color and I am a neutral queen. So excited to give this one a try. Another one I'm very excited about. This is from Kaja and this is one of their little eyeshadow trios in the shade Peach Madeline. Just this really pretty kind of like shimmery. Uh, there's one matte, two shimmers. It's like shimmery warm neutrals. And I've just kind of really been reaching for quads, trios, just smaller eyeshadow palettes. So excited about that. Just, I'm just gonna have to move some of these because this table is a mess. There's a side. And then when I ordered them, I also, um, this was a while ago, but I got this big sample pack of hair products from Sephora. So I think I'm just gonna put all the samples in there. So then I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and on 20 times the points, which in Canada, that's the same as getting 30% basically in value of your products and points. Um, back, I purchased the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. I'm wearing it today. I'm gonna to be working through, I feel like this haul is probably gonna go up before the review, but it might not. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself, but this is the palette and it kind of is the new take on the Chocolate Bar Palette, which is my favorite eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. One of my favorites of all time, to be quite honest. Um, so anyways, I am excited to try it. I've used it today. While the look I think we've made is really pretty, the purple didn't give me the pop I was hoping for. So I'm working my way through this palette. You can expect a review soon, might already be up. Um, if it's up, I'll leave it linked down below. And if it's not, you should subscribe so that way you can see it when it's up. And I also picked up the Born This Way Sunset Stripped Palette, which while the names are a little odd, the color story, just rosy neutrals. That is so, so me. Um, I am like very excited about this palette. This palette I actually referenced in a recent um, old palettes I still want video. I guess it's a recent video called old palettes I still want. And I kind of 
talked myself into buying it. Um, I tried not to, but I did. Now, from Charlotte Tilbury, I did get some gift with purchases. Those were some of her Hyaluronic Happy Kiss lip balms. They're already in my giveaway pile. I'm planning a big giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, which I know we're still a little bit away from, but I definitely want to see some Charlotte Tilbury in there. So I want to show you the items I actually purchased. So the first one I'm really excited about is Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So it's a little duo. You open it up and you get the, um, how big is it? I was going to say milliliters. Yeah, 50 ml, which is 1.6 ounces. This is the glass container refillable. And then at the bottom here, you actually have one of the refill pods. So this was already 20% um, off. And then um, a friend of mine has recently used a, kind of like had like a code. It's not really like a special influencer code, but basically if you, if you send this code to your friends and they spend $150, they get $30 off and then you get $30 off your next purchase. So this made it a really, really great deal for me. Um, and then in a separate order, I picked up three things that, you know what? I, they are not new and exciting products. They are products I'm obsessed with. So I picked up the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and I have like maybe three or four uses left in my bottle. So I needed a replacement. Then I also picked up a replacement Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is in shade one, which is the shade I use. It is so finely milled. I love it for under my eyes. I'm wearing it today. Um, now I have a huge pan in my current one, so I just bought this kind of as a backup. And while this particular item wasn't on sale, um, the gift with purchases, I just decided to buy it anyways. And then the other thing I picked up is Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade one. Because to be honest, I got my flawless filter like five years ago <laughs> and I didn't use it for the first two years. It was gifted to me in PR because I was just like, no one's ever going to be interested in a product like that. Like that's, that's so weird. Um, anyways, now it is like cult status uh, online and something I use every single day. And I just kind of felt like maybe using a five-year-old liquid product is kind of gross. So. I'm going to be decluttering that for my collection and replacing this one in. Um, okay, so that was what I got from Charlotte that I paid for. <laughs> um, a couple of drugstore items. This one was really disappointing. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. Um, and I bought it because I thought it was the, like, the glowy, spongy thing that's supposed to be a bit of a dupe for the Hollywood Flawless Filter. But it's not. This is like a totally different product. Um, just, it's just not what I thought it was. I, I got so excited and then I should have remembered that things never come to Canada on time. So I ended up buying what I really wanted in the States and I think this one I'm just going to be passing on to one of my friends. I know that my cousin and I are getting together. She's um, a fair bit younger than me. She's going to her final year of university. So I've been kind of like putting a little bin together of things and Megan if you're watching, hi. But what I'm hoping is that maybe she'll want some things from the bin either for herself or to bring back to her friends at school. Um, and then yeah. And because I'm just, look, it's a great product. It's never been used. It's just not what I wanted it to be. Okay, so the other product I picked up, I'm really excited about. It's from L'Oreal and it is a lipstick that I'm hoping could be a dupe for the Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms, um, or at least like a affordable alternative. So I'm excited to test that one out, but the packaging, it just, just spoke to me. Okay, so do I want to go thrifting? No, let's do Ipsy first. Thrifting, ipsy, thrifting. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do the thrifting first so I can get these off my desk so that way I can show you what I got at ipsy. Okay, the first thing, so I love, um, like, the afternoon tea aesthetic. I love teacups and teapots. Um, I have, like, a whole afternoon tea set up downstairs. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I host an afternoon tea because this fall I'm having some friends over for afternoon tea, I make my own clotted cream, my own scones. Um, yeah, that's what I do when I'm, for fun when I'm not on YouTube. And anyways, in my beauty room, I love having sort of like crystal or crystal, like not crystals, like, like crystal like china. Love having crystal china sort of inspired, um, I don't know, little containers and jars. And so I found this really cool little piece and it holds cream shadows and cream blushes perfectly and it would have been used in like a dining room I got this at Value Village um it would have been used in like a dining room or no Goodwill Boutique that was Goodwill Boutique 
so I don't know if you would put utensils in it or food, but anyways, this now sits on my vanity. It's stunning. It's very hefty glass and it holds cream eyeshadows. And for me, I'm definitely a very visual person when it comes to my makeup collection where if it's in a drawer tucked away, kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So I've been wanting to use my cream shadows more. So I kind of thought if I put these like right in front of me, then I won't forget that they exist. And then the piece de resistance, okay. Kate Spade, $45.99 at Goodwill Boutique. Brand new watch. It's pink, it has like an opal sort of mother of pearl face to it. I mean, I need to set the time because that's not accurate. But it's originally from the Bay. I know it's from the Bay because I know a Bay tag, trust me. Um, originally priced at $260, it was then 30% off and somebody paid $181.99 for this. And I paid 45 and it's a brand new pink Kate Spade watch. And I think it is so, so cute and fun. I'm not really a big watch person to be honest, uh, but I am a big Kate Spade person. And I just see this as a beautiful accessory. So I'm excited to have that in my life. Okay, now we are on to my two Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. So first up, we'll go with my July one, then my August one. So my July bag, just blue stripes, cute, fine. One thing I love about the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is that you get to choose three items in it and I find that I'm usually pretty happy with my choices. So let me just get everything out of the bag. So the first items, this was one that Ipsy chose for me. It is the Santorini Grape by Coors Poreless Skin Cream, um, which like, Coors is such a great brand. Um, and I was in Santorini recently. Um, so to get like a full size skincare product from them, very, very happy. So excited to try that out. Uh, the next product that was chosen for me, I'm not as excited about, but you know what? It's not always gonna be wins. This is from Araceli, which I think is an influencer brand. I'm not really sure on the details, but this is their tequila highlighter. To me, it looks just a little bit deep for me. Um, so instead of using it, I am just going to pass this on. I'm gonna maybe put in that bin and see if any of my friends want it. So we're gonna just rehome that. One thing I try to be really strict on in my makeup collection is when I receive products, whether they're in PR or mystery boxes, if I know that it's not something I'm super excited about, then I'd rather immediately pass it on rather than bring it into my collection and declutter it later. I'd rather like never let it get in there in the first place. So the next item was one I got to choose. So this is from Chilla and it is a liquid eyeliner pen, dual ended. One end is black and the other end is blue. So I thought maybe I could try doing fun makeup for the first time ever instead of doing something neutral. I don't know, it looked fun. I really like Chella's eyebrow pencil, so excited to try that. Um, in the dual ended category again from Item Beauty, we have their dual ended lash primer and it is a blue mascara, which I don't know if I'm gonna it all together, but clearly Ipsy wanted to give me blue options. Um, and then another product I'm super excited about it is a waffle hair towel. I recently bought a bunch of waffle towels and I love them. And anyway, so it is like massive and like I have a lot of hair. So I often find hair towels can be too small for me. And I am just, I really want to like refresh that part of my beauty routine. So I was excited to be able to select that. And then I purchased two add-ons. So for $3, one thing I do really like from Araceli is their eyeliners. And this one is in just a beautiful chocolate brown. I find that I almost always use black, so I thought maybe a little bit of a softer look for fall could be fun. And then, also in my add-ons, so I used one this morning and it was wonderful, but I got two packs of these um, like shower hair towels. So I got two peach and two purple. So I just formed the peach ones this morning. I loved it. This is the matching purple one and it just, it was just really nice. Um, so anyways, I have this plan in my bathroom. I've recently purchased a basket at Target and what I wanna do is fill it up with all my hair towels and then just always have a hair towel on hand um, because I just feel like a lot of mine have gotten really ratty and it just isn't a part of my beauty routine that I've invested a lot in lately. And these were a really great price um, for the add-ons. So to be able to get four of them, like fantastic. And they're like, they're very nice. These ones are the refreshment ones. So super pumped about that. 
Okay, so now on to my August glam bag. So we'll start with the two items that Ipsy chose for me and then we'll get into the two, the three items that I chose for myself. And this might have been my favorite Ipsy glam bag plus ever. So the first item that was chosen for me is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I'm kind of doing a re reinvigoration of my makeup drawers, from a bit of an organizing, a mild declutter, so some of that content might already be up, it might be coming up soon, and I discovered that I have two of these still in the packaging, so I think this will be finding a new home, but I love having great mascaras like that that I can pass on in giveaways and things like that. Then from Shania B, Shania B Miami, we've got their blush in Bellini, um, I've gotten this brand in Ipsy's before and I've never been too excited about it, but ooh, it's a cream blush. Okay, maybe we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. But the three items I got to choose, that is where I'm excited. So first up, um, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Fantastic. I am very fair. I burn very easily. Uh, sunscreen's important. So this is like the epitome of a product I probably didn't need, I still have one on the go, so I don't need one now, but to have one to just like, when I run out, fantastic. Um, this will be a shocking product. From Kitsch, um, I got a microfiber hair towel in a palm print. I don't really care for my hair towels. I don't really care if they're printed or not, or like what color they are. I, I like to have a lot of them. So that way I always have one on hand, but this one's really cute. It's like very soft and it has like palm trees on it. So I got basically a ton of hair towels, which I'm very excited about. And it matches this bag. And then the last item that I got, and I do have one add-on, but the last item I got is from Pharmacy. And this is their Filling Good Hyaluronic Plumping Serum. So on the back it says made exclusively for BoxyCharm. Ipsy's recently purchased Boxy, so I found that kind of funny. Um, really that just means that you can't return this to Sephora. People try to do that. So, excited to try that out. I have a lot of pharmacy skincare that I've received from like Ipsy and BoxyCharm and I haven't really used it, but it is a good brand and I have enjoyed the few things I have tried. And then as an add-on, I purchased the Refreshments Pillowy Shave Cream and Citrus Spritz. Love, love, love this. It is ever since Lush discontinued their, um, whatever their shaving cream, the pink one that like smelled like strawberries. Ever since they just continued that, I've been on the search for a nice hydrating non-aerosol shave cream. I just, I don't really like the aerosol ones and I'm obsessed with this. It smells great. I've probably finished up two of them, so excited to have another one. So yeah, so that is what I got in my two Ipsy bags and at Sephora and at Charlotte Tilbury sale and well, thrifting. So <laughs> Um, quite the haul, but you know, every now and again, I like to just kind of put everything together in a video. I'd love to hear what purchases you've made recently, what you're excited to add to your collections. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if there are any of these products you really want to see me use or test out, especially the palettes, let me know down below so I can prioritize what content I'm filming next. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.